think I was wearing a beanie in my last empties video too. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing I was in my previous video probably, but you know what? Just deal with it. It's fine. Um, today we are going to be going through my trash. Um, I have quite a bit here um, because I've been meaning to film this video for a while. I might split this up between like more personal hygiene products and like beauty products, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, in my empties videos, I also like to talk about um, what I do with the containers. Um, and in my last empties video, which I'll link up here, it's kind of a bit low qual, but you'll, you'll get the idea. Talk about like how to tell if something's recyclable or not and stuff like that. I'm not going to go all the way into that because I already explained it in that video. So you can go watch that if you want to hear about that or, you know, just do your own research. Um, a lot of it is just dependent on where you live. Last video, I kind of pulled things out and went over them before I filmed, but I, I'm just going to wing it this time. So I haven't really looked at what's in this bag in quite a while, so we're just gonna start pulling things out and we're just gonna go over them. First up is this body wash. This is the Raw Sugar Body Wash for sensitive skin. It's got green tea, cucumber, and aloe vera in it. And it says, natural coconut and plant-based blend, lightly scented for pure and gentle skin nutrition. Um, I got this at Target. It's, you get a pretty big bottle. It is 25 ounces. Awesome, and I think this is like six or seven dollars. So I think this is definitely a great product for the price. Um, it's not like gonna change your life or anything, but it is a nice body wash. It didn't irritate my skin at all. Um, it felt like it got me, you know, clean, um, but it didn't like dry out my skin or anything like that. So I think this is a really good body wash, and it's great for the amount of product you get for the price. Um, so I really like this. And they also say on their bottles that for every product you buy, we donate a bar of raw sugar soap to a family in need. And um, this bottle is recyclable. It is number two HDPE. Uh, so I will be popping this after I rinse it out into the recycling. Next up is a body lotion. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion Unscented Original Lotion. Again, I got this at Target. You can see where I buy all of my shit. I love this lotion. Um, I really can't do anything scented. It just irritates my skin and I just don't like them. Um, so I was scouring Target for a lotion that was cruelty free and unscented and not super expensive. And this is what I came across. I think this is uh, $16, which is kind of up there. However, you do get 32 ounces in this, which is pretty dang good. Um, it comes with a pump, which is really nice and super convenient. Um, and this lotion feels really, really nice. Doesn't irritate my skin, makes me feel hydrated. It doesn't stay super sticky and tacky. It just sinks into the skin. Um, so if you're looking for a good body lotion, I highly recommend this one. They do have some scented ones, so if that doesn't bother you, you can um, check out those ones, but I like the unscented original one. And I have already repurchased this. Oh, I, I also have repurchased the raw sugar body wash, so I do like both of these. Oh, and this bottle is recyclable, so I'm just gonna be rinsing this out and popping it in the recycling. Next up are these Love Planet Beauty Shampoos and Conditioner. Um, this one is a bit squished. <laughs> they have a few different lines. Um, I've tried a couple of them, um, but this one is the um, more like color treated hair line. It's their blooming color. Mur, murmur, murmur butter? Mur, 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 mur butter. And rose? Anyways. <laughs> I also got these at Target. Surprise, surprise. Um, I really like these. I don't think that they're anything like that's gonna blow your mind, but I do think they are really nice and they're pretty cheap. They are, I think, $6.99 at Target, which is a pretty good price. They're um, cruelty free, vegan, all natural, all of that jazz. So their whole thing is kind of planet and whatnot. Um, the bottles are made from recycled plastic 
and they are also recyclable so I'll just be rinsing these out and popping them in the recycling so if you're looking for a good affordable um, shampoo conditioner I think these are a good option I have a few more like hair care skin care stuff to talk about um, this is the juice organics volumizing conditioner um, I really like this brand they're impossible to find I see them at Ulta like sometimes and then I also see them at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx so if you can find them I would get them um, I really like their shampoo I think the conditioner is almost like too much um, this one not so much but the like coconut one I think is a little bit too much and if you have oily hair I don't think you'll like that one um, however I do like this one and I like this brand if you're gonna try out a hair product from them I'd actually go for their shampoo because it's super nourishing it doesn't dry out your hair the conditioners are kind of hit or miss I find that some of them are really really nice and then some of them do tend to make my hair a little bit more oily so just keep that in mind this one it's been a while since I've used this but I don't think I had a problem with this one making my hair oily so if you can find these I recommend you pick them up um, this bottle is recyclable so I'm just gonna be again rinsing it out um, to the best of my ability and popping it in the recycling another hair care product this is one of my favorite favorite hair care products this is the not your mother's beach babe texturizing sea salt spray um, this is just a texturizing spray. Um, I love it a lot. I love this little spray bottle. Um, I have repurchased it time and time again. Um, and basically my favorite way to use this is when my hair is either wet or dry, um, I'll put it into French braids at night and then I'll spray a little bit of this on and then in the morning I'll take it out and my hair is nice and wavy and just like super beachy and I really really like that look. I'll also kind of put it on my regular hair sometimes and just kind of like mess it up a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture. So if you like that sort of look, especially like beachy wave look, um, I highly recommend this product and it's drugstore and affordable so it's a good one. And this bottle is number two dpe so this is a recyclable bottle these are i have a big one and a travel size of the not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo um this is a good dry shampoo it um does a good job of absorbing oils if you use a lot of it it can leave a bit of a white cast but i find it's pretty easy to just brush out um so i do like this i have repurchased it um because i really can't find very many dry shampoos at the drugstore and I just don't really want to spend $40 on a dry shampoo but the thing I don't like about this is that they're both aerosol cans which are not very good for the environment. You can actually recycle aerosol cans in most areas not all you just check with your local um, department of sanitation but they have to be completely empty so you can just basically squeeze this until all you feel is air coming out that's all that's come out of this one it's completely empty but anyways yes you can recycle them just make sure they're empty this is the pixie nourishing cleansing balm this is an oil-based cleanser it's a solid cleanser and i really enjoyed this um i thought it did a really good job of taking off my makeup um however did it do a better job than say coconut oil really um and I think that's the thing about these oil-based cleansing balms is I think they do work however coconut oil works just as well and it's kind of the same thing um and this is $20 as opposed to you know a $6 thing of coconut oil so I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this however if you prefer to use like a cleanser cleanser um this is a good option and it does work really really well and it smells good it smells sort of soapy but like in a good way you know what I mean like almost like hotel shampoo that's the best way I can describe it I think paraben free not tested on animals I really really like pixie beauty um so this is a good option if you're looking for a cleanser but like I said now I just use coconut oil and I'm totally fine with that it doesn't look like this container is um recyclable it's similar to the uh botanics lotion containers where it's like this hard plastic and then oh, hard plastic and then there's a little bit of a styrofoam insert in the top of the lid so it's not the best packaging um i'm gonna just try to find another use for this instead of just throwing it away because that's just a lot of waste um but it's a pretty big container so i could put other products in it but likely what i'll use it for is to like hold things 
and stuff like little oh you know what I should use this for actually I think what I'm gonna use this for is all of my hair ties and bobby pins because they just get scattered everywhere and I lose all of them so yeah this would be a good use for that and then they'll actually fit in here so that's what I'm gonna do with the container I also have a bunch of the botanics lotions in here I love these things I don't like the pink one as much I like the blue one not gonna get into these too much because uh, I talked about them a bunch in my last video but I do like them I have repurchased them the only thing is these containers are not recyclable um, so I do reuse them for mostly storing like other products in them when I travel and stuff like that so that's what I do with these guys all right so next thing I want to talk about is a skincare item this is the elf beauty shield antioxidant enriched skin protection serum this is a uh, vitamin C serum my skin loves vitamin C so this is really nice and hydrating um, I will say I prefer a serum that also has hyaluronic acid in it but I did feel like this did help my skin with redness and it did help to moisturize it right now I'm using the derma e vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum and I like that a little bit better than this one but this is 10 bucks um, so it's a lot cheaper than a lot of other serums you can find on the market so it's a good more affordable option um, it's got like a dropper I so I actually filled this up with a face wash when I was traveling which didn't work super well just because it's like it was too thick for this but anyways um, it's a little dropper guy um, I did find this this bottle you could reuse although I honestly don't have a whole lot of use for something like this so unfortunately I do have to throw it in the garbage so I do like the serum I'm using now better, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing this again. But if you are looking for a cheap serum, um, it might be worth checking out. So this is the Pixie Mud Glow Cleanser. This is a mud cleanser. Um, I got it in like a set of three for Christmas. Um, this is nice. I do feel like it really does get in there and deep clean. Um, for my skin, I like to um, switch it up so every other day I'll use something more kind of porous and cleansing and then um, on the other day I'll use just a really gentle, like more lotion-y almost cleanser. Um, so I like this for like the harsher days. I love like mud products, mud based products, especially in masks because I feel like they really help to detoxify the skin. However, I don't feel like they dry out my skin too much because my skin is fairly dry so this is a, is a nice cleanser if you like mud type products like I do and I also I love pixie I will say um, this is like the sample size I think that the normal size looks like this it's just bigger I'm not entirely sure but this unfortunately is not recyclable this container and I feel like you'd have a hard time reusing this so that's unfortunate um, it is cute it has a little plastic scruff top that's all flat so you can stand it up and I think that's a clever idea I just wish this was recyclable okay guys so that wraps up part one of my empties video um, stay tuned for part two if you want to see more like makeup related kinds of things I think that's a good way to do these videos because I don't get around to filming them soon enough and then I just have a whole bunch of products and then look a million years long. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like it in two parts or if you would prefer them to be combined next time. Um, anyways, I love you guys and thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the bell button and click on the bell and change it to turn on all notifications anyways if you want to get notified when I upload you can do it that way um, otherwise if you follow me on Instagram I post on my story every time I upload anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see you guys in my next video bye